Hey folks, this will be a quick one on the quality of life reporting project, which I just put online. And the future of the quality of life project itself, what's the next big thing that's coming up? Well, right now the quality of life project has a, a full report tool that's bundled with the project itself. And what I've done is I split that reporting out into its own independent project, like I did the quality of life print embed thing, with its own API, which the only thing get, that gets passed is any selected neighborhoods, if any. So that's a whole separate thing now, kind of adjacent, adjacent to the quality of life project. And the reason why I did that is to keep all the different code repositories clean and get rid of stuff I don't need. Like the quality of life report doesn't need a whole a UI framework like Bootstrap or Material Design Lite, it's, it's fairly simple. So it keeps everything neat and simple and it makes it so when I convert the data to be used for that particular app, I can convert it and tailor it specifically for that particular app's needs. So the Quality of Life Report, uh, yeah, here it is on GitHub. It looks a lot like the old report with a few differences. Uh, one is you now change the report title up here. You used to be able to do that by clicking on the actual report title in the report itself, but no one really knew to do that. So now it's up here in the exact same way that the quality of life print embed title box is up there. And the other thing is the map now is the print embed map that we made before. Only you can pick any particular thing you'd like to see. So you can pick uh, your metric you want to see. You can set the map to zoom in, you know. Say I'm really interested in Dalehurst Drive for some reason. Set the map however you want and the metric however you want. And then you print. Pretty straightforward. It, uh, a lot of it looks the same. Over here, I added the short description for the metric so you can kind of tell what the units are and a little bit more about what it's really measuring. And to fit those in, I got rid of the occasional chart I had in there because they weren't really helping anyone. And when you go to print, it'll format all kind of nice and pretty and everything will fit on a page. Unless for your particular application you have 8,000 education variables or whatever categories you're using, then it's going to break to a different page. But here it all fits nice and neat. So that's it. The only other things that are new about the report from what it was before is it's a lot faster now. I'm using handlebar templating to essentially make the report HTML at build time. What I have been doing a lot previously is building those kinds of elements and templates on the client side. And there's no particularly good reason to do that. It's just going to slow things down. So now it does it on the build step, makes everything quite a bit quicker. One thing I noticed, which is kind of a bummer, in Chrome, if I put this map down below the first page, so it wasn't in the active viewport, unless you have an insane monitor, then the map in Chrome wouldn't draw unless you scroll down and put it in the view pane. I don't know if that's some sort of performance optimization with Chrome. It didn't do that in IE or Edge or Firefox. But in order to get the map to go, I, had, I put it at the very top. But this is for a print thing, so if people want a different order, they can shuffle it out after they print. The other thing I changed is you no longer need to have a particular neighborhood or neighborhood selected. You can go without any neighborhood selected. And what it'll do is it'll hide this grid that was here for neighborhoods. And in the charts, it'll just leave the selected as the universal dash dash. We just don't know. And you can just get a full county type of report. This is kind of a drag if you wanted to just get a report on the county that you'd just have to artificially pick a neighborhood to populate a column so it would actually run and go. That's the report. The code is, is so simple I, I hesitate to even show you it. 
uh, like the whole code that runs is pretty much this a little bit of stuff let's see uh, so it's grabbing some things and making the metric list the metric list is actually a handlebars template and the quality of life main site now it's using swig I'm not going to use that anymore because that project kind of died. I'm using handlebars instead, and it's just making all that on the fly. And it's making the first page kind of by hand, so if you're on site, you'll want to fiddle with that. And then each uh, metric category page, it creates its own page and the tables and columns and links and all of that kind of happy stuff. Pretty straightforward. Runs its calculations. The calculations now are uh, super simple. Uh, your calculations. There they are. This does a sum. This does a mean, which calls the sum. And this does a weighted mean, which also calls the sum twice. So it's, my, I looked at my old code of how I was doing calculations because calculations were such a weird thing for this project for a long time. It's just a convoluted mess. Now it's very simple and it works fine. So that project is out there. It's ready to go in the data repository. Now under config, there's a V2 with some updated settings. One of those has site.json. And if QL, QOL report URL is uh, set in your site configuration, it'll put a link in the main site to the report. Uh, you know, wherever you put that. That's that. That's the report, and now I've done all the basic framework I'm gonna do before I'm ready for a refactor of the whole project. What that refactoring is going to do is make it look a lot like uh, GeoPortal. It's going to be a more material design light-ish layout with you know card sort of stuff. Some people don't like cards, but I mean, get used to it. Folks, it's, it's the new thing. So it's going to have a sidebar, and that sidebar is going to control the, let's see. It's going to control the these type of things, and it's also going to have the metrics in it. What it'll do is it'll have a link, say, for economy. I kind of sketch out what I'm doing. Like environment, and you'll click that, and the content of the sidebar will flip over to the economic metrics with a back button to get back to the original menu. So it's all going to be in this reactive sidebar that will, uh, just like in GeoPortal, hide itself when the screen gets too small. So it's going to do that. It's going to have the map laid out as we see the map in the embed with the legend and a little description. And it's going to put in the calculations there. So where you would normally have in the Quality of Life Project that stuff over here, it's going to be right on the map in a box right here. So it'll be much more visually indicating what it's showing there. And the charts, since I'm going to have the legend on the bottom of the, the legend is in the actual pop-up here, or table of contents, I guess, on the map. I won't need that in that weird side chart that does legend and points and bars and all kinds of stuff. So I'll just have a simple scatter plot that will show data distribution, and I'll have a trend chart to show the change in the data over time. Since those charts aren't going to be super weird, I'm probably not going to use D3 for those. I'll use something like Chartist or, or, or something else. Because D3 is, is wonderful, but it's one of those things, it's like break glass in case of emergency because it can, it can be kind of complicated. So below the map, you'll have that year slider and menu items like you do now and the metadata below it. So it's kind of a rearrangement and a restyling. All of these things, the charts, the map, the your slider, menu, meta, sidebar, those are all going to be Vue.js components. I'm going to use 
Vue.js to to reimagine the whole site. Vue.js is a component uh, framework that I really, really like. I like React. I've used React on, on a couple of projects now. Geoportal's all React. Vue.js is just a little bit easier to use. It makes a little more sense. It does two-way data binding, which React would tell you is kind of evil, but I would tell you is kind of convenient. Uh, Vue.js is just really, really nice. Um, it's what I used in the quality of life, like the table of contents in the quality of life uh, print embed map is a Vue.js component. And you can make it so it's an entire self-contained component. So you have one file that has the style for that component, the template, and all the code you need to do to run it. If you ever need to make a change, you just change that component. Then you assign a data like a data object for that component. Whenever that data object changes, just that component will update itself. So it is super nice. So all these will be Vue.js components. I don't know when all of that will be done. I probably won't even start on it until October, but I'm hoping to get that done by the end of the year, at least so everyone out there can get their hands on the code. Uh, the way Mecklenburg and the City of Charlotte and UNCC does this project uh, it can be all ready to go and there'll still be three to six months of hand wringing. So you'll probably get it and be able to use it before we're actually using it. But when that's available, I will let everybody know that's where the project's headed and it should make the code so much cleaner. When I look at, I always come back to that quote by Jeff Atwood that the worst code you've ever seen is the code you wrote six months ago. Some of the code in the Quality Life Project is just makes me go blind for a few minutes. This is going to be much, much better, at least for the first six months after I've written it, after which it'll be crap again. So nope. that's the new Quality Life Report. Feel free to use that. It's out on GitHub. I'll put links to it. And uh, that's about it. If you have any feedback on the Quality of Life Project, uh, questions, new feature things, just go on to any of the GitHub repositories and open an issue and say, hey, I'd really like it if, you know, X, Y, Z. Because those ideas are great. I won't necessarily do them, but it may lead me to yet another idea that I think is even better than that idea. Or it may say, I can't do it this way and do it that way. It's Feedback is very helpful. So feel free to do that, especially if you're using the project and go, I'd really like to see it do this. I want to hear from you. That's it. Bye-bye.